Hey everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Wednesday the 8th of May. It's very exciting today. I'm heading out to have high tea with my work wives as I call them. A group of my really good YouTube friends here in Melbourne. We're gonna go and sip tea and eat little cakes and things. I've actually never been to like a proper high tea before so I'm so excited to go. But I'm also like mostly excited just to go and see the girls and talk with them and hang out because I always leave hanging out with those people feeling way better. I don't know, it just gives me a real like zest for life so I'm just very excited to see them. I also really like my outfit today. So this little dress I actually got from Forever 21 about three years ago when I was in the States and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite like autumnal kind of winter dress because it is long sleeved and the colors I just think are really nice for this time of year. It's a navy with these beautiful sort of tan beige colored flowers on them. I think it's so pretty. And I've just paired it with these little like dotty tights and my black cowboy boots. Washed and curled my hair and everything today. And I've just got my really simple jewellery on of my Ana Luisa earrings, all my normal rings, my Balmain glasses. Just trying to decide what coat to take because I'm not sure how cold it actually is. Mm, it's only 16 degrees so it's not that warm. I guess I better wear my furry one. I wear this every time. You guys are getting so bored of it I'm sure. Okay, I just turned around and came back because it's actually kind of windy outside and this dress will blow up at the littlest gust of wind. So I came back to change my jacket for this navy blue coat that I got at Forever New a couple of years ago because this will kind of help to hold my dress down so I don't flash my entire neighborhood. Okay, that's actually quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking them to take a little cheers footage and then they're all like, oh, I'll get that too. And then suddenly like everyone has their camera out. <laughs> It is Friday the 10th of May. I've just gotten back from a concert that I had and uh, you can tell by the state of what I'm wearing how cold it is outside. Oh, <laughs> my lovely sleeping bag coat from Forever New. So good, I got this last year. It's so perfect for days like this where it's just so cold. But first things first, I need to put the kettle on to make myself a cup of tea. I'm having a little fruit tea, cranberry and pomegranate. This one tastes like candy, it's so yum. Cup of tea. This was given to me by one of my students. High tea with the girls on Wednesday was amazing. So nice. I always love catching up with them and it was just a really nice experience both in seeing them but also the Langham high tea is quite incredible. But I had a really horrific sleep on Wednesday night. Like I just could not sleep. Possibly to do with the fact that I had a lot of caffeine in the afternoon. But I've also just been struggling with my sleep lately anyway. So I had a terrible sleep and then I had rehearsals yesterday and a dinner at my friend's house in the evening. So I just was like, I can't vlog. <laughs> but today I basically just, yeah, had a dress rehearsal and a concert, a lunchtime concert. Which is why I have <laughs> concert gear on underneath. Now I have to use the rest of my day to actually get stuff done. Um, I need to edit a video that was meant to go up today but I was like I just don't have time um, so I'll get it up for tomorrow. You will already be up my highlighted declutter. I feel like my vlogs are honestly getting more and more boring. Like, I know you guys are like living for the Game of Thrones updates which is great because otherwise I'm just like oh my poor viewers like having to sit through me just like ramble on about life. It is raining outside and I keep falling asleep trying to edit. I'm so tired and um this couch was calling to me and blanky so it's like proper raining mm. because of these windows you can really hear the rain so well it's so nice. Mm. This is my second cup of tea now. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is Sunday the 12th of May. Mother's Day here in Australia. I'm not sure if it's Mother's Day everywhere in the world, but definitely Australia and New Zealand. Just making myself a cup of tea. I've actually just been out meeting a friend for a, a drink this morning in an attempt to get me out of bed early. I was like, let's meet nice and early because now it's only like quarter to 10 and I can now get underway with my day. I have to call mum obviously because it's Mother's Day. So make a cup of tea and drink that while I talk with her and have some breakfast. I got this sweater from my friend Rach, she was decluttering it, she's doing a wardrobe declutter and she was like, I think I'll get rid of this and I messaged her, I was like, can I please have that because it is so cool, it's such a nice chunky knit 
big grey cardi, love it. I'm wearing my little Kmart Mercy sweater underneath because it's quite cold today. Black jeans and then my white sneakers. I just thought this outfit looked really cool for like casual weekend wear. Yeah, a bit odd to do an outfit of the day after I've worn it because <laughs> I'm gonna derobe a little bit now that I'm home. Just did not have time this morning. My alarm went off and I was like lying in bed and I was like mm, not wanting to get up and then I got up at the latest possible moment that I could. Which meant that I just threw on a basic amount of makeup and ran out the door, really. Now you can really see the jumper as well. Oh, it's so cool. I can't believe she was getting rid of this. I love it so much. But yeah, it's been a little bit of a tough couple of days. I don't know. At the moment in general, I'm just struggling with mood a bit. Planned a really nice day today. As I say, I caught up with my friend. I'm going to call my mum and have a good chat. I need to call Alex today and have a good chat. I'm going to make some cookies. <laughs> sort of having a nice... It is a bit of a mental health day, but then at the same time I also need to do my housework. But my space is nice and in a good way. I definitely enjoy my time at home a lot more. What shall we have this morning, eh? Mm, maybe a lady grey, something a little bit citrusy. Not the most artistic, <laughs> because I don't have my dry bod here with me. Oh man, you can see how dusty this is. That's why I need to do my housework, guys. Gross. And also why I keep my teacups upside down. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm good. Sorry, I'm just, just, just about finished the dishes. Thank you very much for the card. It was really it's lovely. Okay. It made me cry. Yeah. <sighs> that was actually so nice. Me and mum talked for about two hours. <laughs> it's just been a while since me and mum have had a chance to catch up, so it was really nice. Now, though, I'm going to make some cookies. These are my favorite ones, the Betty Crocker Milk Chocolate Chunk Cookie Mix. I know it's kind of cheating to use these when you're baking, but they're actually just really good cookie mix. I really like them. I don't mind making things from scratch, but I particularly like these ones. And so everything comes pre-mixed in a bag, and all you have to do is add some butter and an egg. So it's very, very easy. Yeah, I've just been craving cookies. <laughs> Yum. making my cookies. Look who's here. <laughs> Hi. Hello internet. <laughs> Hello ladies. So I'm gonna chat to my husband for a bit. Talk soon. Bye. Okay well it is now one o'clock and I have spent my entire day catching up with people. <sighs> and it's been so nice. It's all one of my best friends. Talk to my mom, talk to Alex, it was good. Then I need to get on with housework and one of my first tasks is to water my plants. Not all of them, but many of them need watering. It's so much harder in winter I find to water them because they all have quite different needs. Some are still needing weekly watering and some are needing watering like every three weeks or something, it's crazy. I do just go through and use my little water meter and I just stick it in the soil and check which ones. So then I'm not over watering some. Today has been very productive, but in a very relaxing way. <laughs> These are seriously so yummy. 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh, righty, all done. I'm now just making up my dinner. I'm gonna have nachos. So this is still from that chili I made last week. I froze some of it and I've honestly gotten like five or six meals out of it, it's amazing. You jealous, Samantha? <laughs> Nacho queen. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday the 13th of April. May? May. <laughs> Definitely May. Look how sunny it is in here today. Ooh. So good to wake up to. It's getting so cold at night, I have to wear this old sweater of Alex's to bed now. It's from Uniqlo and it's like real wool, so it's real snuggly. I am looking pretty tired today. I'm so struggling to fall asleep at night. Even if I go to bed at like a reasonable hour, I'm just lying there and like my, my body's keeping me awake. This is such a struggle. I feel motivated today regardless of how tired I feel because my house is clean and tidy. <laughs> I think it is so essential to like do my housework on a Sunday so I wake up on a Monday morning like 
fired up because my house is tidy and clean and I'm just a heck of a lot more motivated about life. And I have a huge to-do list today, massive, before Game of Thrones tonight. I got this little package the other day from a brand called Yulia Jewelry. And I think they sent over a little necklace for me to try. See, that's very pretty. Oh, that's really cute. It's so subtle. Very pretty. I've just finished getting ready. As you can see, my hair is still wet. I'm gonna let it air dry a bit today while I have some breakfast. I have a business call with my brother because I'm doing some work for him. And then I actually have to go and print off some music because I can't do my practice unless I've printed this music. Gonna make a cup of tea and I'm gonna use some of this one. It's by this brand, The Palace Tea Room. It's their chocolate mint black tea. It's so good. Pop my little strainer in, but I am nearly run out so that it gives me an excuse to go up to Sydney again. I've got on the big grey knitted cardigan again and I've just paired it with a little silk camisole, my fitted boyfriend jeans, my white merchant wedge sneakers and just the scarf as well. It's about 17 out so it's actually not that cold but I am just loving these sneakers again at the moment. They're nice for casual, you can throw them on super easily and I think they just make my outfits look yeah, really cool, hip. got home. I honestly love Mondays because I'm forced to stay off social media so that I don't have Game of Thrones spoiled for me. It is officially gone live in the US as of right now but it's just too early in the day to like sit there and watch the show. But it's so good it means that I get to just like be in my own head all day. But I'm going to make myself something to eat for lunch. Grilled halloumi sandwich. And I use pita bread as like the burger bun. Oh. On our tour, we are doing some arrangements of popular classics by David Rinnaker. So they're like a bunch of pieces by other composers that he's arranged for Horn Trio. And 10 points to Gryffindor, whoever can tell me the name of this piece and who wrote it. Extra 10 points. <laughs> I finished my work. I am now gonna go off and grab something to eat. I'm kind of run out of dinner food in my house, so I'm just gonna go get takeaways tonight, which is often what I do when it's Game of Thrones night. <laughs> Tonight's episode is meant to be insane, and I'm a bit gutted because our internet is actually down here in this building. It went down yesterday, and it's not meant to be fixed until Wednesday, and I was like literally to the guy on the phone. But Game of Thrones, <laughs> I just don't realise how important. But it's okay, I, I've got heaps and heaps of phone data. I've just been hotspotting my laptop all day and I'm just gonna watch it on that because I've got heaps of gigs. As I said, it should be fixed by Wednesday and I can always re-watch it on the big screen, but I don't wanna miss out on being able to give you guys my commentary because it's meant to be such a big episode. It's the penultimate one. Game of Thrones time! Dracarys. <laughs> what to say. I've been really disheartened by Game of Thrones commentary this week because all the channels that I love to watch, the debriefs and online forums and stuff that I read about it, everyone's been getting more and more negative about it. They've basically been a big wet blanket over everything. They'll find any little thing to complain about and they'll complain about it. It's been nearly spoiling it for me. Sorry I forgot to do my disclaimer. If you haven't watched <laughs> Game of Thrones season 8 episode 5, oh my gosh go watch it. But also Click out now because I'm going to spoil everything for you otherwise, so. Didn't I pick a good week to do a little Daenerys costume? <laughs> 
Dracarys was an underestimation. <laughs> it has been something I've seen a lot of disagreement in is her character arc. I have seen Daenerys' Mad Queen-eskness come out for seasons and seasons. Basically from like the third season, she was starting to do things that were a bit like her father. And she had a very good counsel around her that kept her in line. But as they got knocked off one by one, she started to lose it. Right, let's think about chronological what actually happened. <laughs> I loved the opening a lot. I felt a bit sad for Varys. But also it was expected. Alessandro had said in season 7 that you will die in this land as well as her. She'd already died, so now it was his turn. And he died going in for something that he believed in. And he was right. And I knew that. R.I.P. Varys. I mean, Miguel Sapochnik, who directed this episode, is phenomenal. He is the big battle sequence director that they have on the show. He did episode three with the White Walkers and the Night King at Winterfell. And he did this, and he did Battle of the Bastards, and he did battle of Blackwater Bay, like he does all the big battles. When I saw the lineup of directors for this season, I knew episode five was going to be a big battle. And they'd been like, obviously leading towards that with the story, but whoa, did I not expect it to be that big. I loved that it was very contrasting to the battle at Winterfell where they all line up, all their soldiers and everything, and at first you're thinking, ooh, Daenerys' side is looking a little thin, and you think her only cool ammo is her dragon. But then when the battle started and Daenerys came in and she, she was very strategic, and that's when I think she is brilliant because she knew exactly what those scorpions were going to do. She was like dodging everything perfectly. She's not good when she gets caught out by surprise, R.I.P. Rhaegal. Yeah, I'm really pleased Rhaegal wasn't there if i'm honest that could have been twice as bad more people could have died if Rhaegal was around also really pleased that ghost wasn't there you made the right move john i take it back so daenerys comes in and like yeah hit him up dracarys and i'm just sitting there like whoop whoop but i couldn't deny feeling a little bit of like you yeah, this is your moment because i thought she was just going to come in and be a little bit mad queen but like you know, burn all the scorpions and some of the army and stuff. I'm really lucky that I ate my food at the beginning because when it got to that point where the bells started ringing and they'd surrendered and then Daenerys was just like, nah, screw this, I'm going all out. Throwing all my cards in, my stomach like turned and then the rest of the episode I like, yeah, ignored my drink, was like shaking as if I was about to go and perform in like half an hour or something. Like I was like, Whoa. all my anxiety symptoms were coming out. I was like, <gasps> she lost it. She went absolute full-blown mad. She burnt them all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, Euron and Jamie. That battle was interesting. We presume Euron dies thinking he's killed Jamie, but he wasn't the one to kill Jamie in the end. For some reason, Jamie miraculously managed to survive those wounds for another, say, 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, I love a little bit of Hollywood moment to keep a character going. It was interesting. It wasn't my favourite moment. So I loved the bit between the Hound and Aya. He was the first one really to shake her back into the reality. And I think possibly might have what gone, went through her head. Maybe it was Gendry? Maybe. Maybe she wanted to live for him. She doesn't have to marry him. She could just go live there and not be his lady. <laughs> One can dream. Team Baratheon. If you look at my channel page, you can see that my new banner has a stag on it. Because you guys know. I love stags. By the way, that's not a real one. That was $45 from Kmart. <laughs> Just had to clarify. I thought Aya's development through the episode was probably the saddest. It was the one that I was like tearing up in. I didn't actually really cry this episode because I did expect the hound to go, you know? And I thought the way he did it was blimmin' amazing. Clear game ball! I mean, of course the mountain couldn't die. The mountain was basically chemically designed to not actually die. So of course, it was all, I loved the bit where the hound just laughs like, you can't die. Realizes that this is it. And we're gonna frickin' die together, brother. It was amazing. It was amazing! Didn't quite pick up last episode that Jamie was going back for Cersei. I really had it in my mind. No, he had been redeemed. He must be going back to kill her. But when I think about it, Cersei's like his drug. And he went on this, Jamie went on this big redemption path and he did, he had an amazing character arc. If you suffer from any addiction, you know that you can be clean for a while and be going great and you may, have, it may have even been years and you're going strong and there'll be something that triggers you to reach back for it. You know full well that it'll be the destruction of you to go back, but you just do it anyway because it's your addiction. And Cersei was his drug. I actually liked that. I thought that was more reminiscent of actually real life and of people actually struggling with this interpersonal conflict of, you know, substance abuse. That's how I took it. thought it was very, 
very human. He did say he wants to die in the arms of someone he loves and I thought that would be Brienne. I think he actually genuinely loved Brienne, but I think with Cersei it was like a, it's just this weird, twisted, almost septic kind of love that he couldn't run away from. And the final episode, it could very well just be Daenerys burning everyone that's still alive and then sitting on her little pile of ashes. She might come to her senses when she sees what she's done. Who knows? I still think she's gonna die. I think John's gonna have to kill her something. Something's gonna happen, I don't know. I actually don't know and I don't even really want to like think about theories. I just wanna like go in and enjoy it. I'm actually more sad that it's coming to an end. Like it's such a, I'm so invested that I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry a lot next week, I think. It's gonna be so sad. And then I'll start watching it all over again. <laughs> anyway. That's it from me for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you do want to comment below, try and hide your spoilers as well. Like put a few dots or something to write what you want to write. Just in case anyone goes to the comments and hasn't seen it, I don't want to spoil it. I feel bad. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, which I think is going to be a makeup play date. I haven't done one of those in a while and I just feel like putting a bit of makeup on my face. So I'll see you then. Have a great evening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.